So this is the new drop shutter that I've built and it's complete with its timer unit. So we're just going to give it a little test on that critically difficult time, one and a half seconds. Bingo. Hi, I'm Ian Wallace. Now you've seen my latest project in action, I'd like to tell you a little bit more about it. Here's the basic shutter. It's a drop shutter designed for large format cameras. It relies on a very simple gravity principle so that if we raise the shutter and release it, the slot in the plate, which we see here, just passes by the aperture and because of gravity it's very very reliable and it's very very consistent in the time it takes to fall. So this plate which has a particularly small slot, about a centimetre here, I've timed this one and it takes exactly 125th of a second when that passes the hole. So this is great for very simple shutter speeds. I could probably create some slots up to maybe 250th without any real problem like this. Uh, and uh, if you want to use different speeds, that's really straightforward. So creating different speeds is as simple as having different size holes in the blades that drop through the shutter. Really straightforward. And that's okay if you want shutter speed that's um, a fraction of a second. We'll see in a moment that longer shutter speeds become a bit more problematic. But here's the shutter. It has a slot on the front so that it can take a standard coking style filter. And on the back there is a slot and we have an adapter that's been made by uh, Simon Foster Photographic for me. It's been 3D printed and that just slides into the back of the shutter. So your lens pushes into the adapter and the shutter then just drops onto the front of the lens and away we go. But fast shutter speeds are good, they're quite useful, but what I really wanted was something that could give me some of the more difficult speeds like a second and a half, like we saw at the beginning, um, or even reliable long shutter speeds. Um, and the problem is that as the slot gets bigger, you, you just can't create a big enough slot for the amount of time you want. You would have a great long shutter blade. Um, so how do we deal with that? Well, I'll show you how this shutter deals with it. So here is a shutter blade with a hole that will produce about an eighth of a second in the shutter all by itself. But really I want to be able to create much longer shutter speeds. So the idea I came up with was that when your shutter falls through here, wouldn't it be great if you could just suspend the plate at that point when the shutter was open hold it there for a period of time and then let it fall to the closed position uh, and that's where the bit of electronics comes in in this project. This is the magic little box it's got uh, Arduino nano processor in it uh, and it has a little timer unit on the surface it's not particularly pretty but that's just so that uh, it was easy to access and it's a cheap component to purchase. And then I have this piece, which is the actual magic that makes my shutter work. So if I just want to use it with a gravity blade, I can just use it as I've showed it to you. Uh, but if we want to do something that needs a slightly longer time, anything really over a second, then this is the attachment. So I'm just going to leave you for a second while I just attach that to the shutter. Okay, so you rejoin me now and I've now attached the little unit with the arrester onto the bottom of the shutter. So I have the choice, as I said, of using this as a simply a gravity shutter or with the arrester. And here we have the control unit. So the control unit has a little switch on it and it's battery powered. So my control unit comes on and 
I can now release the shutter and this is currently set up for about a second and a half and assuming I've got this nice and vertical then we should see it operate. So I'll just bring it down so it's nicely in the picture for you and there's the drop and there's the second and a half and here we go we'll lift the blade back up as we lift the blade back up little arrestor arm at the bottom here has come back up again uh, and all we're doing is we're setting the timer up on here uh, and the idea is that as it falls the little magic eye which is on the front of the shutter here is covered by the blade falling the timer measures the amount of time that is required once the blade is fallen to there and held against the uh, little trigger arm here little capture arm here and after the time has gone it just drops the the arrestor and um, the blade falls the rest of the way and then it just waits until you take the blade out and it puts the arm back and that's all there is to it in electronics terms it was relatively simple in terms of the uh, software in here is relatively simple but um, I should be able to adapt this to use this on a number of different cameras uh, and it's not as complicated as the roller blind shutter that I would really like to build um, but I think it's going to be pretty effective uh, and therefore this is what I expect to be using quite a lot in the future. Well I hope you enjoyed seeing that and uh, give you a few ideas uh, and uh, till next time thank you.